You gotta block like eight guys to pick up a five-man blitz on this, which is insane. On the next play, you can see he throws it out pretty quick. Got it! For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff of the Man. She's always got a gameplay video for you guys today. Today, I'll be going over a gameplay that I recorded when I was just trying to record some footage for an offensive video. Uh, I didn't choose playbooks. I just ended up with a 4-3 playbook by mistake. And I really just figured out a defense on the fly. And by the end of this video, you're going to see how this defense evolves and really becomes just an absolutely shut down defense. Uh, so I really like this video. I wanted to bring it to you guys. Uh, I will have a link in the description. I already broke this down to practice mode. So I will have a link in the description if you guys want to see a practice mode version so you can try to learn this offense a little bit better. Woo! Other than that, if you want to see more defensive gameplays like this, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section, and let's get right into the video. So basically, the story behind this gameplay is I picked the Buffalo Bills because I wanted to record uh, some offensive gameplay from the Buffalo Bills playbook, but I didn't change the defensive playbook. So I'm going into the game with Bills on offense, Bills on defense. Now, typically, I go with like the Miami Dolphins or the New York Giants, which is some of the, you know, the playbooks that I use the most. Uh, so I really had to kind of come up with a defense on the fly against the two opponents I'm going to show you guys today. This was meant to be an offensive video. I just wanted to record uh, some offense from this particular scheme. I'll leave a link in the description for you guys if you didn't catch this. But I've been in the Bills playbook quite a bit, and a lot of times I'll just go into gameplays with the express uh, purpose of just basically recording some footage for the intros. If you guys watch my practice mode footage, a lot of times it's just like, you know, gameplay footage in the beginning just to show you guys that it does work in gameplay. I started doing that because a lot of people would question in a practice mode video, they'd say, something like show it in gameplay so obviously i just started showing and making sure that every one of my practice mode videos had gameplay of it working uh, and that's pretty much how i started you know making a lot of my videos i'll leave a link in the description if you want to see a breakdown of some of the offensive plays i'm using but ultimately this is mostly going to be about the defense now early on i do a lot of running here we get into a third and ten i say that particular play doesn't really get covered by anything you see that route gets wide open so like i said check that out link in the description below it's a very hard to stop offensive scheme now when it came to scoring i mean i probably could have scored here i really was just run out of bounds because i was trying to uh basically score uh on one of the plays uh that i was trying to use for the highlights like i said i force a lot of this stuff so on the defensive side starting off i mean i really didn't have a game plan going to this i mean I, I have a vague idea of some plays out of four three playbooks that work this particular one here i gave a try uh none of this is really working out though as you can see right here and you can see my tackling is just on point. I'm still trying to basically use a lot of concepts that I use now. I'm just trying to get some pressure off the edge. You can see right there, once again, my user's almost on top of that. That was a close one. As we almost get an interception there, but once again, just not right on point. I'm just a little out of my element, because like I said, I don't really use this playbook too much, so it's like I really don't know what I'm doing. When it comes to playing defense, though, I know that where the, the defense gets easiest is inside the red zone. I mean, that's really, a lot of people don't want to let you get down the field. I'm perfectly comfortable with letting people get down the field on me because I know that this is where most people have the hardest time uh, essentially uh, scoring is, is, is really where it's at. I mean, once you get inside the 10 inside the 20 uh the field becomes shorter uh you know the 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 back ends the back of the end zone is really the best defender on the entire field so i really don't have an issue uh with that but you can see right here once again my user just a little bit late pretty much every single uh pass he completed my user was in the area so it's not too hard to figure out that this guy likes to throw over the middle of the field i'll be fine back on that but you can see none of the defensive plays that i used really gave me any success so back on offense back to that formation i want to get a little more explosive with the passing uh, because I only have a minute 34 left so I'm coming out in uh, you know basically just want to go right back at the passing plays uh, which early on I mean I was very content with running but this is a very explosive play like I said this guy's running a lot of cover two this here looks like it's probably a cover two so now killing a little clock too because I want to score and basically give this guy the ball back with no time now this play here should have had a touchdown but you can see I celebrate out of nowhere this guy comes out and tackles me at the one. I know that if he's going to keep running these type of man, you know, goal line defenses, that a simple drag is just going to cook that. So I basically just hit him with a drag on, an, on the next play. And we get a very easy touchdown. So... And it's at about this time that I switch over to the defensive formation that I'm talking about, and that's basically just a straight up dime normal. Now, the dime normal is probably the closest thing to the dollar, but to me, it's slightly better because the dollar only has three down linemen, and it really leaves you with a lot of huge run lanes uh, for you know inside zones and stuff like that, which this particular formation doesn't do because of the four down linemen. So that's one of the things I really like about this formation. The first play, I man, I just basically call just a random cover three. 
Nope. I'm not really a fan of the regular Cover 3, though. I feel like the regular Cover 3 isn't that great. So I go with the Cover 3 Cloud. This is going to be one of the most important pass defenses when it comes to this game. You can see on the very first play, we get an interception, which essentially ends the game. This is something that I mentioned when I did the practice move video, where I basically said that these this particular Cover 3 does not react the same way that regular Cover 3 defenses do. Uh, regular Cover 3 defenses, the cornerback drops straight back. In this particular defense, the safety drops back to where the cornerback would be. Uh, which is a completely different reaction. You'll get a lot of turnovers, just like I did here. And you can see this opponent quits. See ya. So we went and hopped into another game. We had two very good opponents. We got the, the Packers, which is one of the best teams in the game, and now we're playing the Super Bowl champion Rams. Now, in this particular game, I start off on defense, and I do go back to uh, some of these, per these particular formations. This, to me, like I said, is one of the better run defense, just because it's a cover four. Uh, it's something that I'm just kind of messing around with. Like I, That's something that you know I'm always tinkering and trying to find like the next big uh, formation or the next big blitz next pick whatever so i do go back to this formation for a little while only to find out that it really doesn't work like i said i expect i really came out of this because i expected my opponent to run more based on the fact that he's in a two tight end set for whatever reason a lot of people really run every time i play something in the rams even though they have some of the best receivers in the game it feels like they're always running the football and that's exactly what my opponent does as you can see right here i mean i'm coming out and cover fours trying to stop this run and he's still doing a really good job so and once again we're messing around with all these alternate defenses we're not really having any success as you can see in my opponent goes right down the field and scores on me. And I'm glad these games played out like that because you can see how my opponent just has nothing but success against these other uh, defenses that, in my opinion, I mean, I'm using cover fours, which, you know, and I'm even dropping safeties in the box and stuff like that to try to stop some of these uh, run plays, and there's none of them are working. And you're going to see once I start using some of these other defenses that I'm telling you guys about how much of a dramatic change it is. So on this next play, I finally pick uh, the cover two blitz that I'm going to show you guys. Not a lot of setup. You can see the first time. I call it I get a sack from two different guys it's called the dime blitz too it's something that a lot of people uh, used in the past uh, a lot of times it was just out of nickel packages and stuff like that this is something I'm using out of dime packages on the very next play though he does find one of the soft spots in it there's easy ways to beat cover two defenses but ultimately this is a very uh, easy setup as you can see we're having a lot of success we get a sack on the very next play as well so we only called that play three times and two of those plays ended in a very quick sack for whatever reason though I go away from it I go to cover four yeah that's me you're probably wondering how i ended up in this situation uh which probably wasn't the best call Damn it. now back on the offensive side like i said i'm still running these same plays it's pretty much a run first offense and that's the thing about this toss play it's so overpowered what? you can see nobody's even close what? to holding down the set so it's a very easy series of run plays on this next play we hit him with that super glitchy pass play one more time this wheel route is just so hard to stop you can see this is a cover three with a cornerback and a safety over the top and we just get around it and we're gone back on the defensive side like, we're gonna keep hitting them with this blitz all i'm really doing like i said i'm pressing blitzing my user and then coming down over this gap here and then once again just a little bit off when it comes to usering i decided to switch it up and hit him with um a mid blitz just something to, to show him something else this guy though he does not call the right play Woo! you do not call a play action against mid blitz red, red. we're gonna go back to that nickel blitz two one more time like i said very easy to set up all you really gotta do is blitz one of these yellow zones and try to pull alignment once again we get pressure just a little bit off once again when it comes to the tackling yeah. and the use ring i'm both in the area but you can see i mean we got him in a position that we want we're at a third and 11 right now like i said just basically user this gap on the opposite side of the blitzing cornerback and try to pull alignment. That's all you really gotta do. It won't really matter. Though my opponent right here almost looks like he's just trying to run the clock down and then boom, we get what I thought was an interception, but ultimately he picks that up and gets it to a fourth and inches. <coughs> So to me, the coverage was tight. It was right there. We got to go back to a run defense, though. I mean, in this situation, I'm not going to come out in a dime because he could probably easily pound me for some inches. That's what she said. <laughs> so I'm going to come out in something uh, a little bit more pass. Hey, we're going to come out in a cover for quarters. We're pinching the box. We're bringing these safeties down. Like I said, this is a situational defense. We're not going to come out in the same defense we're trying to promote here. And you can see on the next play, there's guys all over. He, he dots me up. I don't know what to say there. Now I'm stuck in this, though, which is definitely not what I want to be. He scored against a cover four quarters. It seems like the guy knows the crossing patterns are the way to go. And on the next play, we get a little bit lucky as we get uh, one of our defensive ends just steps up to make a stop. But like I say, he's got me. He's got me stuck in it now because he's basically.
basically just run and hurry up. And, uh, you know, all I can really do is pinch my defensive line and spread my linebackers. Because if anything, I can at least make them go laterally to the point where these safeties can fill. Yeah. And then you can see once again, I mean, I'm trying to hit stick them. I'm just not getting it done. Still stuck in this defense. Like I said, this is not really the plan. I don't want to be stuck in a couple of quarters. This is not defense I'm trying to show you guys. But you can see at least we're getting some uh, some some lucky sheds. We're going to hit them with the mid blitz one more time because we're basically going to try to uh, light them up, get a pressure sack, which probably wasn't the best call because you can see on the very next play. <laughs> He absolutely cooks it with Cooper Cup. I don't think there's a cornerback in the game right now that's going to cover Cooper Cup one-on-one, -on -one, and I basically had enough. I'm going to call a timeout because this is not working. I can't just have this guy keep abusing me in defenses that aren't really having success. We're going to go back to that cover two. This cover two has its issues. Like It's not a great run defense because the safeties drop back, and on the very next play, uh, I mean, he's not really in a run formation, so I don't have to worry about that too much. As you can see, once again, my user just slightly off. It's like every single time, I'm just not where I need to be when it comes to the user, but you can see he's getting the ball out quicker and quicker because I think he's recognizing that this blitz is having a lot of success. As you can see on the very next play, we get another sack. Like I said, every single sack I've gotten has come from this particular play, but you can see on the next play, once again, I mean, he's just beating me with these crossers. Damn it! Uh, that's something that, uh, you know, my, my usering probably could have been a little bit tighter. On the next play, once again, I'm going to have to go back to uh, something a little bit more run defensive oriented, like a cover four. And you can see my opponent is uh, he's putting he's putting the work on me right now. So to start second half, but we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna hit him with a little more of a hurry up offense. We wanna try to get uh, you know, basically just get him to make mistakes or not give him a lot of time to make adjustments. But on the next play, I'm gonna try to hit him up top. Break yourself, fool! We just drop it in the bucket. On the defensive side, though, like I said, nothing's been working. We're going to go right back to the only uh, play that's given us any consistent success, and that's the dying blitz. Every time we run this, we get a sack. Luckily, on third and ten, he's going to have to try to pass the ball. And then on the very next play, once again, we're getting insane pressure. Now, he's going to go for it, too, on fourth and ten. Like I said, I know he's expecting that crazy pressure because on the next play, he steps up and throws that ball way too quickly. And I finally timed that user correctly, as you can see. I mean, he had no choice. It was fourth and ten. He had to throw the ball. So on the next play, I mean, went him with that pass one more time. I probably could have tried that wheel route, but like I said, I mean, this is a play. If you got Josh Allen, just run over Josh Allen. So we take the lead. We're up seven points now. And I know that I got ace and hold because he has not figured out this blitz yet. He hasn't even come close on the very next play. This is actually the best the blocking has done the entire time that I've run this play. That was the first time they actually didn't let somebody come flying in. I'm guessing that he was blocking two tight ends on that play, as you can see on the diagram, and that's probably why. But ultimately, like, you can't block. You got to block, like, eight guys to pick up a five-man blitz on this, which is insane. On the next play, you can see he throws it out pretty quick. Gotcha, and the quarterbacks are jumping all over it. Like I said, I mean, this, this blitz definitely messed up his timing. See ya. So that's it. That's the vid. If you guys want to see more gameplays, more defensive videos like this, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Mike, shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.